All right, so you're here learning to level your build plate. If you've already got resin in your 3D printer's resin vat, I'm going to show you how I level my resin build plate if somehow it's come loose and there is resin in the vat. This doesn't happen very often, but occasionally it does, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it so that you don't have to clean out your resin vat each time this needs to happen. So, same as before, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure your build plate is firmly attached to your z-axis arm. If you have any attachments such as a magnetic build plate, those need to be in place and you need to make sure that your um, resin vat is secured to your 3D printer. Once you've checked all of those things, it's actually a fairly simple process just like before. You're going to want to go ahead and loosen the four screws holding your build plate and once those are loosened enough that this can move freely, it's actually going to be the same process as before. We're going to go to, let's see, this one is also tools. And we are going to go to manual and we're going to click home. And this, just like before, is going to take the build plate and set it flat against screen or technically your uh, FEP film on top of your resin screen. All right, guys, once it has stopped moving, it's a good idea to have gloves on for this portion. Um, if your build plate has arms that go up the sides, you can use those. However, if it does not, you will have to use two fingers to flatten your build plate against the LCD screen. And again, it's gentle downward pressure. And then once you've got it flush against um, the bottom, you're going to go ahead and just like before, using a crisscross method, method alternating front to back, you're going to want to go ahead and lock into place these four screws. Sorry, it's really hard to do this on camera, guys. All right. And again, we're just holding gentle downward pressure on this build plate as we lock it into place. All right. That's three. That's four, and now we're going to simply go around and snug down each one if it will move anymore. And I'm going to grab a paper towel and go ahead and snug the last two down here. And these long handle Allen keys are great for this because you can simply go from the side of your resin vat here and it will reach long enough, which is great. All right, and just like before, we're going to go ahead and go back and set zero. It's going to say confirm, and we're going to click confirm, and that's it. This one doesn't automatically go up once you're done, so you need to click manual, manually move it up. Oh, man, it looks like I even spilled a little bit of resin. Oh, well. Another pro tip, guys, if you've got resin on your build plate, and you're just raising it up, let it sit low for a little while. That way you don't get the splash from the resin um, while this is draining the resin back into the vat. All right, I hope that helped you level your build plate. If you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down below. If you've got any useful tips or tricks that you know of to keep these build plates level or ways that you like to do it that are different than mine, let me know. Ciao! Ciao, 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 ciao! I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I'm really having fun making this content. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Got some great other tutorials on there. So if you're looking to get into 3D printing, electroplating, workshop stuff, go check my channel out. I think you'll find a lot of stuff you enjoy. As always, guys, build some cool stuff. I'll see you on the next one.